back when you get in town. Sam, but I gotta kill you. What the hell's the matter with you? Come on out, Sam. Let's get it over with. Slim, listen to me. Listen. You ain't got nothing to tell me. So don't waste your breath. We're partners. We're gonna split it. We got enough to live like millionaires the rest of our lives. I figure I'll have twice as much without splitting it. Well, I ain't coming out, so you better come in and get me. All right. If that's what you want. I got your gun.
we're gonna make it. We ain't far from the river now. When we get there, you can drink water and eat grass till you buzz. You just stay with me, huh? Sam, I thought I'd never see you again. And I... Sam! 
Why do you do it, Sam? Living like a wild animal out there? And for five months. <laughs> five months? <laughs> five months this time, 20 years. 20 years? Pappy, you're wasting your whole life running around. Why don't you quit? Well, you quit when you find it. And maybe not even then. Do you really think you will? Let me tell you something, Annie. You know, finding the gold, that, that's only part of it. You still got to dig it out and bring it back. And you can't do that alone. You got to have somebody to help you. You know, with somebody you can trust. And that's the hell of it. You can't trust nobody. And as soon as you make a strike, your partner's going to turn around and try to bushwhack you. Oh, why, Sam? Be serious. You've never seen an ounce of gold in your whole life. So who'd want to kill you? I'm just saying that you've got to get somebody that you can trust. But who can you find, honey? Nobody. Some folks around here say you're a little touched, you got a fever. They say you were born with a pick in your hand and gold on your brain. No. Annie, I got somebody. I got a kid. Well, he, he, he ain't mine exactly, but maybe you won't believe this, but I used to have a little place of my own up in Denver. He stayed with me, him and his mother. Hmm. And uh, then I got the fever again, started digging around, and I took him with me. He was just a kid, you know, and I guess he got kind of tired of trailing after me, so he up and... <sighs> no, but him I could trust. Well, and what was his name? Manolo Sanchez. Manolo Sanchez. Say, what's that? Denver? Yeah, Colorado. Hmm. Now, here's the hundred bucks I'm wiring to him. You tell your people in Denver to make sure he gets that, huh? <laughs> in the valise. Come on. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, boy. You dropped something. A silver dollar. I never had a dollar in my life, mister. Well, pick it up anyway. It's yours. Thank you, mister. But it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> All the ruckus, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> Put another bed in my room for Senor Sanchez. Sure. Uh, no, wait a minute. Get him a separate room with the best one you got, huh? Uh, right. Uh, and how about you and me having a little drink? Ah, uh, yeah. You think you're old enough? <laughs> well, boy, you want a girl? Uh -huh. I'll get you the best in town. Oh, there aren't any more rooms, but I can have another bed put in yours. All right, now, but, but you put clean sheets on Why, of course. Can we? <laughs> These sod busters of a millionaire ever came to this town, they wouldn't know what to do with him. <laughs> Did you say Sanchez? No. no? I said Senor Sanchez. Ah, Senor. Well, of course. Hey, Senor Cooper, what about that drink? I told you I was a vase. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, yeah. Take that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mr. Cooper, welcome back. Uh, Jay, Chamber, bring us another bottle. <laughs> but if you take a drink, a bank will do you no good. Hey, he told you to bring a bottle. Now get going. Did, did you hear what my friend Ooh. said? Bring it. <laughs> Probably tastes like bath water. <laughs> They look mean, those two. Ah, uh, it's the Brady's. They run a good business. You want to get rid of somebody, they'll do the job cheap. And <laughs> they like their work. Howdy, boys. <laughs> Give me a hand. All right. Maybe I got you here for nothing. <laughs> oh, for nothing? What are you talking about, Sam? Why, being together like the old days, call that nothing? the smartest man in the Southwest. He went out with a partner to dig gold, he said. But he came back alone, all alone. Seems to be a habit of yours, eh, uh, Cooper? Hey, who's he? He didn't like you very much, huh? Now we used to be friends. We was in the army. Took off together. Deserted. Name's Mason. He went one way, got caught, and I... You always tell the story your way, don't you? say one thing, you may have changed in a lot of ways, but not your appetite. You still know how to pack it away. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I eat a lot, but maybe tomorrow I have to go without. I've done it before. No, that was all yesterday. You ain't got nothing to worry about now. From now on, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But this time, you you got to stick with me. No, no, no walking out on me, huh? Oh, I walked out on you because I got tired of following you around. Digging holes and finding nothing, it weren't worth it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. 
Listen, kid, I've been... I've been hunting and digging for gold almost all my life. You break your back swinging a pick and shoveling. You go half blind in that damn desert or crawling around like a mole in a tunnel that can cave in on you any minute. Half the time you you forget to eat or sleep, you don't even care. And then you dig it out. There it is. It... It ain't something that you can smell or taste, but it's the most beautiful thing in the world. And that's when you know that it was worth it. The years, the sweat, everything, because by God, that, that gold is yours. But Sam, you found it. You found it, haven't you? Oh. Where? You are nowhere. Uh, I ain't saying if I found it or where. I ain't saying nothing. What do you want to know for? Uh, listen, Sam. You sent for me. I didn't ask to come. That's right. I sent for you because you're the only man alive I can trust. And I'll, I'll tell you this. There's a hell of a pile of gold up there just waiting for us. And I'm coming with you, but where? Where? Well, we're here, huh? The town. Now the river. Then we get to that old mission. It's all uh, burned down now. Huh? And then the Sierras. We got to get across them. And then the desert. Huh? We get to these small hills. Now they, they've looked for gold down here and they've mined for it over here. But nobody ever thought to look... At I'll map it all out for you later tonight. When do we go? Well, soon. We, we've got to get everything ready first. You, you leave that to me. Annie, come here. <laughs> come on, sit down. This is Manola. He's the luckiest kid in the world. Touch him. No, uh -huh. go on, touch him. Maybe some of his luck will rub off on him. <laughs> Please. Uh, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Now, don't drink so much, Sam. You, you see how that, that boy looks after me? Nobody ever looked after me like that before, not even his ma. She was a nag. I, I liked her, all right? She's... She's always nagging at me, remember? Oh, now, Sam. Uh, let him talk. My mother's dead, so who cares? Sam? Hmm? There's something I don't like about that kid. Give me a glass of milk. Our uh, milk cow's having tea with her friends right this minute. Is everybody in this town as funny as you are, mister? Milk, you said. Coming right up. That's all for me. Good night. May I? Sure. Who's dealing? You can. But let's see your money first. Sure. That all? It's enough to start with. Run along, son. It's a serious game. This ain't no penny ante. Manolo. Come on. I said come on. They couldn't have beaten me. What's the matter? Why, nothing. You know that fella? Him? I never saw him in my life.
lot more, but they stole my horses. I couldn't carry no more than this. I threw the rest in the river. <laughs> now, do you think it was worth it? Wouldn't you say it's worth those years to find anything as beautiful as that, huh? Yeah, that's the prettiest sight I've ever seen. When are we going, Sam? You got the fever out, kid. That's good. Don't forget, we got a hell of a lot of work ahead of us. We got to get there, we got to dig it out, we got to get it back. But, Sam, do you think we can handle it all by ourselves, just the two of us? Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe a little tougher, but I don't trust nobody else. Look around, see if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sam. Where are you off to? Come here. You didn't tell me you'd found someone to grub stake you. I was just helping out a little. I asked you a question. He wanted to see me. He's sick. He don't look sick to me. Who is he? Uh, he took care of me when I was a kid. He, he brought me up. Well, what's in it for me? Nothing. He's just no prospector. He's half crazy. Go away. Leave me alone. Don't tell me what to do, understand? I'm sticking with you. You can't think without me. Now tell me what's going on. How much you got? I got some more. Want to sell all of it? Maybe. Pretty good stuff. About 30% gold. Mighty good strength you made. Well, that's not very damn much. Well, I'm keeping my mouth shut. That's a down payment. Get a good price, Sam. Lancaster? Howdy. You see, I want about three bags of cornmeal, a couple of bags of sugar, a bag of salt. Uh, six slabs of salt pork. Now, what else will we be wanting? Uh, let's take lots of stuff, just in case. He going with you? Yeah. You got any uh, sleeping bags? There's three left, over there. Manila, get them, please. Let's see. Oh, no, this is junk. Wouldn't know. Never could squeeze into one. Let's take off three, Sam. What for? What do we do with three? Oh, an extra one, you never know. Well, I know. Just these here. Ah, uh, here. Have your boy bring this stuff over to my hotel, will you, Lancaster? Yeah, sure. You deliver the widow Jones order? She give me a nickel. Well, Frank, I think you could manage to earn two bits when you deliver Mr. Cooper's order. Hey! 
Hello. What you asking for them? $45 each for them there. Different prices for the others. Ah, oh, no. Good horses. Uh, All of them young. Yeah, yeah, I know. But that, that's too much for them. How many you want, Mr. Cooper? Maybe we can make a deal. I need six. I'll give you 20 apiece. All right. You pick them. coming with us. Why? Sam, I, I think it's better three than two. And three pair of hands can dig more than two. Why? He told you why. Three pair of hands are better than two. Listen to me. I didn't double cross you. Nobody's double crossing you. No. I swear to God, I didn't know. I didn't know. No, Sam. Why? No, no, Sam. Sam. Why? He followed me. Why? No, Sam. No. Listen. Sam. Sam. Listen to me. We got to take him. He followed me anyhow. Well, you'll never make it without me. I uh, know. I told him so. But we didn't aim to go without you. And anyway, I'm paying his share. I promise I'll split my share. <laughs> it won't cost you a cent, Sam. I swear. Why? Because I own plenty. Because he helped me through the whole time you were out of sight, I tell you. He helped me earn enough to live on. Get me from the law. Did you? You didn't know it. You didn't suffer. I did, though, and it's none of your business. <laughs> Somebody chasing you, Cooper? Mason, I've got to talk to you. Go ahead, talk. I said talk. I didn't say sit down. Good morning, Reverend. <laughs> then what? So you see, they, they might think they can get along without me. They know where the mine is. At least Manola does. Well, get rid of them. Fast. Oh, no. I, I, I couldn't do that. Not, not that boy. Anyway, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe, maybe they're all right, both of them. But what are you worrying about? And what do you want from me? 
Look, Mason, let's let bygones be bygones. I, I want you to come with me. I just feel safer that way. I don't give a damn if they rob you or if they kill you. That's your business. But if you want me to go with you, why do I get out of it? Well, like I said, maybe nothing's gonna happen. Maybe. All right, I'll give you 10% of my share. 10%? If you want a couple of killers, get the Brady boys. They're cheap. I, I, I don't want killers. I, I want a partner. You want a partner? If you want me, Cooper, it's 50-50. All right, 50-50. Back down on the third horse. Where do I put them? Wherever there's room. Well, we're off. Never mind, Sam. We got plenty of extra shoes for the horses. Let's go. No, we wait. Ready, Cooper? <laughs> he comes with us. Four pair of hands are better than three. All right, bomb us.
Hey, you.
Look here. This is the one that works at Lancaster's store. That fat bastard, I'm gonna have something to tell him when I get back. All right, let's bury him. There's a lot of them. What about their guns? Them too. Watch first. Him. <clears throat> there was some more left. Don't you want it? Move out this way.
in the hell taught you to make coffee? Well, anyway, it smells good. You know, this coffee's just like you. You think it's one thing, then you find out it's something else again. <laughs> Him or me? Dead man tell no tales. Slow down. <laughs> Always in a hurry, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> you always make a mistake when you're in a hurry. You know why I came alone? Maybe... Maybe I'll have a chance to get even with you. For the three years I spent in a prison camp. 
What the hell are you talking about? I could get rid of you and take the gold. You owe it to me. I went through hell when you double-crossed me. When you put the troopers on me and got the reward six years ago. You must be out of your mind. If I'd have turned you in, they'd have, they'd have nabbed me too. I don't believe you. I know you. As soon as we dig up the gold, when you can no longer use me as your bodyguard, you'll set a trap and try to get rid of me. Then why did you come along? Because I wanted to make damn sure that you double-crossed me. Well, I didn't get any reward and you ain't got any proof. <laughs> if I had, you wouldn't be alive now. Just be careful, Cooper. I warn you. Hey, when are we going to start taking the ore out, Sam? Tomorrow, six. You and me's going to work the first shift till noon. Funny how people get the wrong ideas about gold. <laughs> they think all you have to do is find it, put it in a bag, and take it to the bank. <laughs> You've had your ration. But, Sam, we got loads of water. If he's thirsty, let him drink. Everybody gets his share and no more. And you have the first watch with me. You better watch your hands. Manolo, bring some water over here. Quinine. In my bag. And some quinine in Mason's bag. Bring that. Where the hell did you get malaria? Florida swamps. Doing hard labor. What you sent me. Remember.
I left some coffee on for you. What wedges? What are you talking about? Somebody pulled out those wedges. I know, I put them there myself. That's your job. How do I know somebody wasn't setting a trap for me? Or me. Hey, Sam. You think them two was plotting something together against us? To do what? Well, you know. It was you and me in the mine. That's the way it was supposed to have been. From the beginning. I'm on your side, Sam. You know that. I'm sick and tired of both of them. So am I, but I don't care what you do to Mason. But Sam, no. Leave him alone. Look, if we get rid of Mason, Sam would be no problem. There's two of us. Hmm? <laughs> Why, sure. Besides, what do we need to kill him for? He's, he's old and harmless. We can take care of him, and we'll need him to help carry the gold out of here. You think too much. Just take orders from me. If I want you to kill Cooper, you'll kill him, won't you? Because you've always taken your orders from me. Isn't that right? 30, 32. Want some coffee? You know, I think we're almost finished. Got about as much ore as we can carry. Now is the time to be more careful. No, maybe I was wrong about Manolo. I don't know. I don't think he's such a bad kid. That's where you're wrong, Cooper. Hey, Coop, we got a visitor. That your ration for tomorrow? What are we gonna do with him, Sam? He knows about the mine. Well, I don't know. We'll talk about it later. Let's turn in. I have the first watch. Remember?
another gun. I don't you a favor. None of you have the guts to do it. Go back to sleep. A lot more gold. Plenty of room. Yeah. If we leave off the food and water, you will say, huh? <laughs> Nobody listens to me. Ah, shut up. Cooper is right. He knows you can't get back without me. You still need me. Yeah, till when? Nobody needs you, pretty boy. We can do without you. Or you.
What's the matter with you, Mason? You got it back? Which one of you took my quinine? Who's got it? Give it to me. I want you to give me your pistol belts. You heard me. All right, drop them. What's the matter with you? What's wrong, Sam? Manolo. Now help Mr. Mason with his, please. taking advantage of me. You'll pay for this. I swear. Wait a minute. I ain't finished yet. Now then, turn around. Unload them guns. Count the bullets and put them in there. That's something else again. You can make it on your own from there on. I ain't taking any more chances. Now then, put all them guns in that sack. No, no, leave the belts where they are. Look what I found. Take it over before you give it to me. I warn you. You saw them too, huh, Cooper? Suppose they're after us. Do we get our guns back? Or shall we throw rocks at them?
What's it going to be, Cooper? Maybe you could use these. you anymore. Why, sure, Mason. I'll see you in town. Pay you the rest of the money. All right, Mason. Pay you now, if you like. <laughs> All right, Mason. I told you to go back to town. Why, sure, Mason.
You didn't tell us you had gold, Mason. Hey, Hal! Uh, hey, friend!
I get you to town if I have to carry you on my back? <laughs> Mason, you hear me? Mason? 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 Mason! Mason!